Okay, let's get that beast arena. I need, I'm need. i going to need some help on the weapons here, though. I think I will play all the way through the arena. I don't see any reason why not to. It is depth 14, so we're actually in normal... Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a gremlin. I thought it's beast. What's the difference? What is the difference? I don't know. But while we're waiting... <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and roll our first dice, so we'll bring that up. So roll again. Two is a gun. Not really what I'm looking for. Also, uh, before we pick more, we'll heat. Dark Reprisal, go! Mm, bonus heat, woo! Ignition Helm. And 100%, 100%, so we'll just go with the two. Go! Double your heat bonus, woo! Is that it? That's everything. Okay. Rerolling again. We've got our first gun, and it is a one star gun. Oh boy. This might be the end of the run. If I have to start burning, um, freeze on gremlins. Not very great. Shock, even worse. I think we're going to go with freeze. Not like it's going to do anything. The chance of this inflicting freeze, near zero. Four is a helmet. Three is a three-star helmet. Okay, so something elemental. I just need to match the damage. Do I have elemental? Oh, goodness. Don't. We have three piercing. So, I think we're going to go with this. Because for the damage bonus, or the attack speed increase, rather. I would go Brute Jelly just to heat it, but I'm probably going to die, so that's not actually a good idea to me. Once again, two for another gun. Two is the star. This is just awful. Stop rolling this, please. I actually don't think either of these are bound to me, so we're going to go with the or the pulsers instead, because neither of those... I'd bring this, but it's not even bound to me. I guess I want it to be bound to me, sure. I guess we'll do that. Fine. Once more. Another two. I got another two. I think I'm stuck, so we're going to go back and try again, because that was broken, I feel like. We're gonna. I'm gonna omit that one just because I was like four twos in a row, and I just don't feel like that makes much sense. I'll keep the stuff I got, but yeah, that six is a shield, which is good. Give me a five. Help me out. <sighs> Gotta downgrade because we can't upgrade. I'm gonna die, guys. This is just how this is gonna go. Two for another gun. Five star gun. This is the last thing we got. Satenza over carbine. Actually, yeah, it's a tens over carbon. I'd rather do damage than poison at this point. Okay, so we filled one slot. Yeah, we've got one, two, three more rolls to go. Five for armor. Four for four star armor. Okay, that's better. Thank you. Um, how do we want to do this? Vita suit. Rock Jelly, Seraphic, yeah, Vita Suit. It's the only thing that makes sense. These other ones aren't really going to help me, and the buff bonuses don't help me. I, it actually doesn't make much sense, because I don't get that health filled, but assuming I can survive this first room. Two is a gun we can't use. All right, so that's it. We're done. And we're going to die. It's just the way of things. This Shadow Tech is pointless. This is the only gun I'm going to use, and if they spawn any kind of feed or undead... I'm going to... Oh, I can use the Gigawatt Pulsar. This is going to be just awful. 80% health with the 4, 5 plus from... Yep, this is already looking bad. Okay, let's get rid of you first. I didn't need to wake the other one up, but as long as he's shocked and getting hit by the Pulsars, it's okay. But, by the way, it's on video. Um... When I say in lockdown I don't have a Polaris, it's true. I don't literally don't have a Polaris. So, yeah, stand still. You're good. Healers will heal other healers, gremlin healers. I've said that previously. Yeah, stand still. Okay. Um, is this worth anything? 40. And I could switch my controls around to make this work where I can actually alchemer switch effectively, but 
Is this worth the Satenza? I'm gonna assume absolutely not. Nope. Okay. Well, let's get rid of these guys first. Actually, I think we'll leave one turret and then start working on the chipping away at the bombers. So shock is this interesting status where it's completely oops, lagging into into pups. It's completely random. The the once you're afflicted with it, it's completely random whether I should probably should have killed one of these guys first. The amount of shock that you when you take the shock damage is completely it seems there's no you can shock two enemies at exactly the same time and they'll go out of sync in when they take shock damage is why I would say that. So, whereas fire is based on a tick system and you take um, fire every second and a fraction, I believe. Maybe it's two. It also depends on the strength of the fire, so I actually just pretend I didn't say anything. Okay, last wave. Two more waves after this. Last wave, all right. And it is a... Uh, it is a Trojan, which is not good. Because it's going to be hard to get away from his back. They're healing. Stop healing the other healer. Actually, it means you're healing. Yeah, stop healing the other healer. Kind of just want to put some damage on him when I can, because I think this healer's going down. Get him, please. Thank you. Shock on fiends is good. Or on uh, Trojan specifically. Because it will knock them out of animation. There we go. Gremlin, get off of me. Oh, come on, expand, bullets. Oh, he's almost done. Alright, we got this. Maybe we'll finish him off with a Satenza. One of these guys first, though. And there goes the Fiend with the Shadow Gun of Death. Come here. I kind of don't want to do this. I'll do one more room. I will not do the last one because I kind of am surprised I'm not dead with this kind of shield and these weapons. But I guess if it works, it works. It might be stupid, but if it works, it ain't stupid. So we'll continue with this. Will it do anything? Not sure. Shadow Tech Alchemer, of course, the two star version of. We got a large that's four that's good two star version of the umbra driver which is the shadow version the higher damage shadow version of the alchemers hitting enemies and splitting into smaller bullets as you go splits into more bullets the more you level it up gigawatt pulsar shock elemental damage expands does deal shock damage normally more often when it expands steams please stop i should have turned off all my i don't even know why it's doing that i've never had this kind of thing this notification thing happen before yeah, I did update recently. Oh, we're gonna do this, because I feel like this might actually be faster than just trying to gun them down. Stand still. Can I get one more haze on? Or a couple more? Okay. Oh, we got one. We got this one on fire. Gremlins don't light on fire very well at all, as in they take very minimal damage from it. They take about 10%, 10 to 20% less damage than a normal monster would and don't stay on fire for as long. So they the chance to spread, which I don't actually recognize shock and fire spreading very often at all, which is kind of Ugh. Well, there's an example. My iron this literally the axe axes deal, you know, they deal stun. I kind of want to My iron buckler has stun resistance, and when shields take damage from take attacks that have statuses attached to them, it uh, absorbs into the shield. It absorbs into that status if there is one on the shield. Otherwise, it goes straight into the shield health, and so your your shield will take additional damage if there's status attached to the attack of the monster. And that thing hardly the gremlin axe would have gone through my shield easily. I didn't mean to do that, and and hit me for sure if. I hadn't had this shield, but it absorbed enough of the of the stun that it did minimal. If anything, I didn't actually see it do anything. Okay, this is gonna be awful. Let's just try and get rid of these healers. I'm just using, I'm gonna use the Shadow Tech Alchemer to try and get bullets flying around so that these guys stay shielded. Ugh. 
We've got one of the healers. The other one's going down. There's the transfer of shock, or was it my pulsar that did that? Shock and fire are supposedly supposed to tr be able to transfer between enemies. Ooh. You have a lot of shield. You're dead now. Alright, we actually didn't even use our emergency revive. Okay. Tempted to do the final room. Very tempted. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't think these are going to have anything for me that I'm going to want, but I suppose we'll check. The odds of getting a, of a huge seem to be about 1 in 50, uh, from what I can tell. That is just a back, back of the envelope estimate. But it is what it is. We are sticking our neck out on the, on the line, as, it, as the saying goes. Will it pay out? Most likely not. We will most likely get slaughtered, and that will be that, and that will be the end of this run. But in the event that it doesn't, well, I can say that I conquered this with minimal armor, helmets, and weapons. I mean, there's a contest going on in the uh, forums right now for doing a Firestorm Citadel with an Akron and all other shadow weapons. Um, which is kind of interesting, but... Like, that's... I mean, you can still pick what you want, even if it takes forever. This takes forever, and I don't get what I want, so I take lots of damage. Thank goodness those were not rocket pups. I was about to be extremely saddened. Okay, so when I kill all these four rocket pups, we'll get the lumbers spawning. So I'm going to leave one of them be. I'll leave the f that bottom right one. I think I, I hit it a little bit. I did. Okay, just throw these bullets in there to maybe get that Mecha Knight. And I believe we'll get a set of four lum- when we kill these, we'll get a set of four. When we kill all these on the field, we should get a set of four, as my understanding. And then beyond that, we will get a set of our uh, eight turrets around the playing field. Whoa. Whoa, that went right through my shield. Okay, Satenza, five-star version of the Antigua, which is another jelly weapon that you can get that those bombs didn't stun me. Them throwing bombs that you can stun you. Okay, you, before you heal up, will take care of you, and then you're done too. Do we get eight turrets? No, we get lumbers. You first. Come on. Oh, come on. Just die. There we go, poisoned. Ow. Ow. There goes my shield. We will do as much damage as we possibly can while he's poisoned, just because poison increases the amount of damage taken and dealt. I believe the damage taken can increase by up to 50%. The damage dealt can be reduced by up to 25%, but I may have those flipped. It's one or the other. It, it's, yeah, damage dealt reduced to 50%. The turrets, not rocket turrets, thank goodness. In normal... Normal status um, arenas, that's often a concern. Because you can have eight rocket pups, and that is just, like, unfair to the max. And I'm glad I got this pulsar, I'll be completely honest, because the large um, expanded bullet induces a knockback effect, or a stun lock effect, and, whoa, bullet um, awfulness. Oh, that's the one I don't want to kill. Oh goodness, he's going to die from shock damage. Or maybe he won't. I'll be very happy if he doesn't. Oh, that will. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. We're almost done anyways. i kind of okay with that. Because we just want a nice, easy, peaceful, spam the lumbers fight to finish this off before we inevitably meet our demise to a armada of gremlins. I don't know how I'm going to handle this. Probably stand in the corner, use sprite powers, and blaze Satenza until I die multiple times would be my guess or maybe I'll keep moving Mecha Knights are gonna come after me too yeah I gotta keep moving actually the healers are gonna make this nigh impossible so we're gonna focus on them first and try and get rid of them let's do that and get rid of that healer thank you there's one and it's because the other healer killed him actually okay there's one down 
I can poke at this Mender who won't dodge while he's healing, which is good. If so long as I have the give the healer something to 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 damage or to heal rather, he'll stand still. He should stand still while he's healing. So I just applying enough damage to there we go. Okay, this might actually be slightly doable. I like how all the gremlins dodge at once. That's kind of silly. Dodgy, dodgy. Okay, we'll use this for now. Did I just really kill off that many of them? I feel like there should be more gremlins around. Maybe this is a reduced spawn. Just because it's just me and my iron buckler or something. Once again, taking significantly less damage than I normally would. Because of uh, the iron buckler being stunned and me shielding it and losing all my shield in the process. Oh, get out. I should be okay. There's no remedy capsule to replenish the one I currently have, so I won't be doing that. We win! My predictions have all been proven wrong. Then again, it's still early tier 2. But not to say I'm disappointed by any means. Also, I've cleared this up, but I'll clear it up again. This... Well, okay, it's loading it in, like I said, every time you do a new thing. This, and breaking out of it, nothing increases your movement speed. Movement speed is not affected. It only affects attack speed. And only for a couple seconds at that. That is a huge. We will take that over mm, red or yellow. Red or yellow. I'm dressed in red. We will go with red. I kind of want that just to use it. So we'll take it. These are kind of rare. Also, you guys remember when it said uh, turrets? auto turrets that were going to spawn as pickups apparently mm, no apparently not so they kind of lied to us on that front as in no one's fine no one's found them and if you have please totally tell me about it cuz i totally want to see interesting thing about heat as i mentioned before is that heat snaps to the end if it's close i wouldn't be surprised if this cat call hood is ready for for uh, forging uh, because heat snaps to the end, especially when it's got a plus 25% uh, heat bonus, because that does not reflect it in these bars at the end of the loadout. So if this has 25% heat, it will definitely be ready for forging. And there it is, and it does have the heat bonus. So we will use our 3,000 glowing fire crystals to get this thing up and maybe get a forge prize box. Or not. And that's the only thing that's worth using I imagine we can do that 90% 100% use the 90% watch it fail hey and there's the bonus heat okay that's that and I cannot switch weapons on this one because we did it at the arena so we will go with this not actually a bad weapon set for I really don't like guns guns are my least favorite of the weapon types to be honest nothing against gunners but this is actually, for being what it is, I couldn't say it could be worse. Well, I can say it could be worse, because it could be smaller guns. These are actually good guns. If I had to pick a gun loadout, it would look something like this. It would look like Satenza and Pulsar, and maybe, like, Needle, one of the Needle variants, either Blitz or, or Blight. Stop pushing him closer to me. I want my bullets to expand. Get it, get, get. There we go. Is the gremlin just hiding out in the corner over there on low health? Yeah, he is. Get out. Why don't you just heal yourself, man? You've got the capability for it. You have the technology. I'm just invading your planet and taking your things. I'm in your base killing your dudes. Retrodes spawn in here, I believe. Three retrodes, yes, that I'm not really concerned about because we just... Oh, or Scuttlebots, rather. Those are Retrodes. Those are Scuttlebots. Sorry. Gremlins spawn in here, don't they? Like, Gremlin, a very... One of the variations of... No? Okay, we got three Lumbers this time. I've gotten Scorchers in here. I've gotten Thwackers. I've gotten Demos. So... Ah, I just couldn't move. I just got completely stuck. And I took less damage once again because of the stun resistance. Now, damage that goes through your shield break still carries into you but you notice i was stunned for maybe one second and just a little bit more because most of it was absorbed into the shield which while not having much stun resistance has enough stun resistance to make that difference 
kind of don't want to mess with this gremlin and finish everything else off. Hey, Mr. Lotso Health. There we go. Oh, right into it. Okay, gremlin, you're asking for it. Ow! Okay, you pay for that, and we'll be done. Oh, I have no shield to shield bump. You can bump dying enemies, and I don't understand why people don't. They just stand there and wait for enemies in the corner or something to die. You can... No, oh, that didn't hit that. That's okay, I don't need it. You can shield bump dying enemies and knock them in the direction that you want to walk. So save yourself a little bit of time. See him, I'm not going to be able to do much with. Yeah, he's in a corner. Ignore. Oh, there's... I'm looking for... I'm looking for a button. And it's not the last one, but it's one of the last ones. I'm okay with that. And we're out of half. Or we're through half. You didn't hit that? Come on. Two crowns? I'll come back for those. Of course, you know that drops don't expire. There are spikes under here, so there's... I'm just going to look for the button and leave. There's actually no reason... This room fights in waves. There are waves of... Ooh. There are waves of enemies to be fought. But why would you? Why would I, in a case like this, when hopefully I can get in here and press the button before they get here? There's just, just another fighting room. But... You're not going to heal him? He's not worth it to you? Wow, you're, you're mean. You're not fulfilling your job. Don't dodge, please. And freeze and charging the gun apparently and my health is going down what's happening please don't crash lumber is coming I'm probably dead which means now it's trying to load the revive animation which lags it even more because I haven't revived yet that's exactly what happened and so it lagged even more well that was kind of lame I don't like it when the game screws me over like that I mean it's one thing if I played bad and I took some damage yes but I did not deserve to die that was kind of the game's fault for lagging. Um, and when you take silly lag damage, that's kind of annoying. I cannot leave this room until I finish, so I could take the key, but not much point at the moment. Glad there's not a healer there or I would have to shoot him down. So the recon thing that I picked up, I guess I'll use that in here once I get enemies bunched around me, assuming I don't lag to death again. It death marks. The only real use for it, because the guy it spawns is pretty useless. But if I can gather some guys around here. The area that it's... Oh, I moved. Come on. Everyone come over here. It death marks. And what death marks does is it reduces... They see him taking... He took 80 damage. This guy, I want to hit him. Oh, he stopped getting death marked. They were taking 80 damage. You might have seen the, ret the retro there. He was taking... It reduces and gets rid of all defenses that a uh, that a opponent has. I'm trying to think of what the right word is, because I'm, what I'm thinking is, it's the same principle. Oh, is he? are they having a battle? Yeah, go guy. You're just like your pops, Rendon. Useless, but that's okay. Go guy! This is spectator sport. Here, can I help you? Are you gonna die? Shoot him. Ow. Well, you're utterly useless. Are you gone? He's gone. He's like, I'm not doing anything to these guys. Screw you. Have fun. I'm I'm out. And I say, ah, okay. Fine. Yeah, so gets rid of all the defense. And what you can actually do is it's a straightforward damage calculation is how things work. Enemies have certain resistances, have certain number resistance. I'm just going to run straight for it and take some damage in the process. But that's how it's going to happen run wait and move and the spike should go spike should go and spikes don't go and we're out don't want to deal with that i have the kilowatt pulser pulser is definitely one of the best weapons for that room if not the best weapon for that room just because of i can't seem to hit that ghost block with my pulser grab my two crowns and get out of here reset my weapons for the last two levels of this run before depth 18 Amberlight, where we will be done done. Shadow Tech Alchemar, go! 
So he was taking, I, I saw, I don't, honestly don't know if you did, my Satenza was doing 30 damage normally and 80 damage with the death mark. Because he has zero defense and I was dealing pure shadow damage, you can tell that he has 50 shadow defense. The construct does. The construct has about 50 shadow defense and you can just, that's the base, so that's the normal damage he takes. Now if I attacked him with a equally powered, like the Argent Peacemaker, for example, which is elemental, which it's super strong against, it would do, I don't know, say 42, which means he has... The th he has 50, which is 80 minus 30, minus the 12, which is 38. So he has 38 elemental resistance, which means when I hit him, he had takes more damage. Does that make any sense in the world? Because that's how damage is calculated. If it didn't, my apologies. If it did, congratulations. Go forth and calculate your own damage.